and the Lord turns his voice before his army. For his camp is very great, for he is strong that executed his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? So all praise the man for the humble sisters that was up here listening, man, to the spirit before Satan came up here and tried to sow discord. All right? But we don't keep rocking and rolling with the solid reality, man. A lot of people become a bad get into a feelings where well, we don't give a damn, man. Because we love you and we come out here to rebuke you with love, man. See, y'all have been lied to by your pastors, man, thinking the, the, uh, God is all love. Are you, are you all love? No. You got emotions, okay? You have emotions. So we are here for our people and our people only. All right? You give me Romans 10 and 1. You give me 2nd Ezra 8 and 16. We are here for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of Negro and... 2nd Ezra 8 and 16, I'll push y'all. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans of Negro and indigenous descent. No conquistadors, no white man, none of that. Okay? We are here for Israel and Israel only. This the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 1. <clears throat> Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. You see that? That's what we are here for. Okay? We are here to teach repentance to Israel in hopes that you can be saved. Right. Okay? You. Because the Lord loved you and only you, nobody else. Alright? Leave what you got. It's the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 8, verse 16. Bring it out. And for thine inheritance, for whose cause I mourn, and for Israel, for whom I am heavy. You see that? For Israel in whom the Lord is heavy. Okay? And why is he heavy? Because we're sitting in the lowest, most destitute, impoverished places all throughout the world. Okay? Whether you're in America or whether you're in, in damn uh, India, wherever you are, scattered across the four corners of the world, you are in a low, destitute, downtrodden position. That's right. Okay? Because we're out here for you. We are here to get you to wake up and you to come back home to your nationality and your God-given heritage. That's right. right. That's right. But y'all don't care. Y'all, y'all quick to give down the heritage to another. You say color don't matter. But when you woke up, you put on a damn blue shirt. That color matter, huh? Right. Man, let's continue on. Con, and for, and for, and for Jacob, for whose sake I am troubled. You see, and who's more troubled than the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man? Nobody is more troubled than you. But we are here for you. We are here to get you the question, to ponder, well, what are these Negroes on the corner talking about? I never heard Pastor bring up these many scriptures. Why is that? Anybody ever uh, wonder why the pastor give you lip service? A bunch of hoop hollering and give him your damn dollar, man. Okay? That's all the pastor care about is your dollar. That's right. Okay? He don't care about you, and he for sure as hell don't care about your salvation. Okay? Read yeah. what you got. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 22, and verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. You see that? That's what we're doing right now. We're on the highways, bid to the marriage. Okay? We bid for you Israelites who don't know you're Israelites to come back home to your God-given heritage, man. Right. You are more than a damn African-American, okay? You are more than a damn wetback. You are more than a damn tomahawk. Bring it out. Okay? You are special. Not because I said you are special, okay? Because the Lord said you are special. Right. All right? Here's what you got. It's the book of Luke, chapter 14, and verse 23. Bring it out. And Yahweh said unto the servant, Go, Salatia. And the Lord, Hamashiach Yahweh said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges, and compel them to come in, 
that my house may be filled. You see that? I did not for two or three witnesses. We out here compelling you Negroes, you Hispanics, and you Native Americans to come back home. Okay? That's what we are out here for. Well, y'all don't care. Y'all don't care, man. Give me the book of uh, Hosea 86, okay? Y'all don't care, man. Why you don't care? Because you cast off the thing that is good. Okay? And what is the thing that is good? The laws, statutes, and the commandments of the Most High God, Yahweh. That is the thing that is good. Get out, bro. But y'all are confused as hell out here, man. You don't know any better. Oh, not my God. My God is all loving. Look, well, I'm going to get into that. Read what you got. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 8 and verse 6. Bring it out. For from Israel was it also. The workmen made it. No, that's, that's, that's not it, uh, Bob Kershaw. Uh, that's our cancel. I think it's good. Read what you got. I get it. 83. 83. 83. Yeah, hold on. Uh, Con, I got you. Uh, this is the book of Hosea, chapter 8 and verse 2. Israel shall cry unto me, my power. We know thee. Right. Israel have cast off the thing that is good. You see that Israel has cast off the thing that is good. Your power, your God, okay? Y'all have cast off the thing that is good. Okay? And let's see what happened because we, as a people, cast off that thing that is good. Let's see what happened. Read on. The enemy shall pursue him. Whoa, the enemy shall pursue him. And who is more pursued by the enemy than us? Okay, get beat upside the head with their billy club for a traffic violation. Okay, oh, uh, walk out your house and risk it being shot, shot to death by a race soldier cop. That's right. Okay, that's right. Who is more pursued by the enemy than the so called black, Hispanic, and even American peoples, man? Don't worry, you are right. But y'all, y'all got a, uh, a loose screw in your head, man. Okay? Y'all are three bottles short of a six pack. <laughs> madness, man. All right. It's madness. But you know what? A lot of people have been coming by the day and saying, oh, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Oh, you guys are so hateful. But guess what? We hate what the Lord hate. That's right. In righteousness, okay? We hate what the Lord hate. Read what you got. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 139, verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. You see that? The mighty king David was in the spirit and said, Do I not hate thee that hate me? Continue on. And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with a perfect hatred. But not David said, I hate them with a perfect hatred. Okay? And I, like I said, we hate what the Lord hate. Right. Okay? We hate what the Lord hate in righteousness, and we don't give a damn if you're getting your feelings or not. Okay? Because we're not out here to spare nobody's feelings. Right. The truth is hard. The truth cuts, and the truth hurts. Okay? So, you're going to get the unadulterated truth out here today, man. And all praises to the, to the mighty speakers that went before me and have found the sheep. We can keep rocking and rolling through the spirit, okay? Read what you got. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 9. Bring it out. For the ungodly in his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto the most high their power. Yeah, and he said the ungodly and the ungodliness is both, un both hateful unto the most high God. But y'all say God is our love. Well, just saying, the Lord hates man. You've been told lies by your pastors. Right. Uh, okay? And we, as the Israelites in the Bible speak of, we are here to cast down those strongholds. That's right. That's right. Okay? We are here to give you the sign of truth. Whether you like it or you don't like it, we don't give a damn. That's right. Okay? Because we are here for you. All right? Nine and thirteen. Yes, yes, nine and 13. This is the book of Romans, chapter nine, verse thirteen. You know. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You see that? For Jacob have I loved, and Esau have I hated. 
Okay? The brothers might know earlier who Esau was. Esau is the PFE. As the priests like to say, the pink flesh entity. Okay? That's who Esau is. And the Lord said he hate Esau. Right. And guess what? That's we hate right. Esau too. Right. That's right. That's right. We hate the so-called white right man because he's a devil. Right. Not because I say so or this man said so, because the Lord that God said so. That's right. Right? Be what you got. The book of Proverbs, chapter 26, and verse 5. Bring it out. Answer a fool according to his folly. You see that? And the Bible is up earlier talking about, oh, you offended her. You offended her. But you want to accept that, say that. Okay? We ain't out here sipping. Okay? Right. If we see our women out here dressed immensely, we're going to get on your head, man, right. because we love you. That's right. Right? We don't want to see you doing nakedness, man. That's right. That's right. But because America, America taught you, well, that's just how women dress. That's right. Well, that's a damn lie, man. Right. That's right. The gods of Zion are supposed to adorn themselves in modest apparel, man. That's right. That's right. Y'all are supposed to be precious creatures unto the most high that God. That's right. Not showing your damn goodies to every time dick and heavy, man. And then we're a crap victim when we get thrown into a damn rape van. That's right. Right? But when your damn bones out here trying to convict you, you want to call us hateful. That's right. But we gotta deal with that, okay? Right. We gotta deal with that in righteousness, man. Because we are here to give you righteous judgment. That's right. This morning. Answer a fool according uh, to his folly. 45%. Lest he be wise in his own conceit. You see that? And that brother with the four eyes over over here over the so called wise in his own conceit. That's right. Okay? Because he don't know any better. Right. He said, oh, I see God all the time. What? The Lord said, can't no man see me, least he die. That's right. All right? You ain't seeing God, and you don't know God. Right. But guess what? When you get to know God, you're going to be like, man, I should have did better. Right. That's right. All right? I should have did better. But you don't know better, but we are here to teach you to do better. Right. Because once you know better, that's how you can do better. That's right. We're not sparing nobody doing feelings on that, man. Right, right. All right? There's more on that. I got a precept. Bring it out. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29, and verse 18. Bring it out. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. You see that? Well, there's no vision that people perish, and we are perishing by the day. Okay? We are perishing by the millisecond. Right now, somewhere in the U.S., a black man is probably being murdered or abused by the white soldier police, man. That's right. And that is a cold hard fact. Right? That's a cold hard fact. And if anybody got the guts to come up here and ask him questions, Dealing with humility, we can answer those, man. But we're not dealing with we're not dealing with contention or folly. All right? We're not dealing with none of that. There's more on that. Okay, come. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 45 and verse 7. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. You see that? We love righteousness because we love what the Lord loves and we hate what the Lord hates. And we love righteousness and what we don't. Therefore, God, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellow. You see that? The Lord hath anointed the Israelites with the anointing oil of gladness above thy fellows. All right? So we are here, as I said before, to give you the cold hard truth. That's right. The Lord is only dealing with the Israelites, man. Right. The Lord's only dealing with the Israelites, man. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, but Paul said, Paul said the Gentiles. You don't have any idea or understanding who Paul was referring to when he spoke on the Gentiles, man. Those were Hellenized Israelites forced to keep Greek customs, okay? 
But y'all don't know any better, and don't care to learn any better, man. Madness. But we're gonna learn today. Right. Okay? We're gonna learn today that we hate with the Lord with the Lord hate. That's right. And you should too, as a set apart Israelite. That's right, Okay? We're not out here to be your friends, man. Right. We out here to rebuke you sharply to make you understand the way you've been living life has been a complete and utter lie. That's right. A complete and utter lie, man. So we gotta wake up and come back home. Come on, come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 97 and verse 10. Bring it out. Ye that love Yahweh, hate evil. What's that? The book of Psalms, chapter 97 and verse 10. He that love Yahweh, hate he, evil. He that love the Lord Yahweh, hateth evil. Right. So all you, you Negroes out here saying, oh, my sweet God loves, why do we keep reading all these scriptures saying the Lord hates, man? That's right, King. Bring it out. Why is that in there? It's the Lord with all love. That's because you've been told deceptions, man. You don't care to read and understand for yourself. You just listen to what your Bishop Bacon notice tell you. Right. You just listen to what the pastor tell you, man. You got to want to learn knowledge, man. You got to want to wake up from this deep slumber that you're in. You Negroes got a heavy case of the itis, man. A heavy case of the itis, man. When we out here to give you that damn adrenaline shot to wake you up. Right. All right? Uh, that's right, huh? We out here for Israel and Israel only. We're not out here for Esau, who is the so-called white man, okay? We're not out here for Moab, the so-called Chinese, the so-called Japanese, the, the Arabians, the, 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 the damn East Indians. We're not out here for none of those people, man. Right, right, that's right. Huh? We out here for the downtrodden. Right. We out here for the people living on Section 8. Right. right uh. We out here for the people waiting for their food stamps to come in at the first or the end or the middle of the month. Right. We out here for y'all. We out here for the people that live in the ghetto where it rained for two damn seconds and your street filled up because the gutters are filled up with leaves, man. Right. That's who we out here for. We're not out here for the people living on Country Club Lane. We are here for the downtrodden and oppressed. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Uh, That's right. That's Bring it out. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. You see that? And we as a people sitting in a, a downtrodden position, we need to be delivered from the hands of the wicked, man. And who is the damn wicked, man? Who has raped, robbed, pillaged, colonized the whole damn planet, man? Right, bring it out. What is the damn Chinese, man? Yeah, yeah. What is the damn Arab, man? The devil in the Mustang. No. It was the so-called white man. <laughs> That's just playing upon tables, man. Right. Who has a damn military installation on almost every continent on the planet, man? Dang. Is it the Chinese man? Nah. nah. It's the so-called damn white man, man. That's right. But y'all got a love affair with your oppressor, man. Right. Y'all got PTSD, post-traumatic slave disorder. That's, right. That's what your Negroes got. But we are here to break those fetters from off your brain, man. Right. <laughs> we are here to call you back to repentance. That's right. We are here to call you back to your power and back to your God, man. Right. That's right. Y'all don't care. It's more than that. This is wow. Wow. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, and verse 5. Bring it out. A righteous man hateth life, life, but a wicked man is loathsome. And coming to shame. Again for the top, a righteous man hate of lying. A righteous man hates of 
lacking. Right. And who's the biggest damn liar in the damn world, man? The so-called white man. Right. Who took our damn Messiah and painted him some pasty, pale, uh, skin graphic devil, man? Right. Who did that? The wicked of the earth. That's who did that. That's right. The Bible said your Messiah is a black man that looks like you and the damn devil the Bible speaks about. Paint it over. Right. Paint it over him, man. Right. We're going to get the top Bible control. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, and verse 5. A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome. A wicked man is loathsome. Right. And who is more damn loathsome than the damn skin graphic devils? Right. Man. That's pray upon tables, man. And I can't say it enough. We're not out here to spare nobody's feelings. Okay? Right. We're not out here to berate and belittle our people. We're out here to give you the solid truth. That's right. We're not your choir boys out here. We're not your uh, local, unfriendly neighborhood pastors, man. We're your brothers. We're the word, brothers. We're your brothers, man. Come out here to wake you up. To call you back to repentance, man. But y'all don't care. Y'all don't care about repentance, man. No. All you care about is damn. All I want to do is play the damn, the, the damn uh, uh, 2K. Yeah. <laughs> All I want to do is scheme on the next show. Yeah. It's madness, man. Turn it down, bro. Yeah, go. In the book of Sirach, chapter 15 and verse 13. Yeah, how I hate of all abominations. You see that? The, the Lord hate all abominations. You know. Right. And they fear the most high, love it not. And we fear the most high up here, and we love it not. We hate all things abominable. That's right. Okay? And who's more damn abominable, ab abominable and perverse than the so-called white man? Right. He is a brief, disgusting beast. That's right. Okay? A brute beast, man. Base men of the earth. Disgusting people. All right? The Lord said he wouldn't even leave his damn dogs around them. Right. Because we know when they do when it comes to dogs. That's right, uh. Dogs loving dogs. That's right, uh. <laughs> But I don't care who get offended, okay? I don't care who get their pennies in the bunch. Well, you better on bottom, okay? Right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 17. From that time, Yahweh shall begin to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You see that? That's what we are here for. To teach you so called Negroes, you so called Hispanics, and Native Americans to repent. To stop being wicked. To come back home to your God. We are here for y'all. That's right, uh. Okay? The book of Luke, chapter 5, in verse 31. And Yahweh shall answer said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician. God. But they that are sick, verse 32, I came not to call the righteous. But sinners to repentance. You see that Yahweh Shah Mashiach came not to call the righteous, but the sinners of his people to repentance. Right. Okay? And that's what we are here for week in, week out, in season, out of season, to call you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans back to repentance. That's man. right. Because y'all have been living sinful lives. That's right. right. And we are here for you. Oh, and you only. Bring it out, King. Okay. Uh, 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 give me action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, action. Bring it out. This is the book of Luke, chapter 15, and verse 10. Likewise, I say unto you, 
there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repents. You see that? It's joy in the presence of the angels for one sinner that repents. That's right. Okay? So if we can get that one, one of the people that came up today to change their ways, man, the angels are turning up in righteousness, man. Right. Okay? That's right. Uh -huh. So. I can't stress the issue enough. We are here for our people and our people only. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's it. Mm -hmm. Put it on the tables, man. It's not my words. It's the Lord's words, man. And you know what? If you don't like it, oh well, you gotta deal with that. That's hey. right. That's right. Here we go. It's the book of Acts, chapter three and verse nineteen. Oh. Repent ye yes. therefore. And be converted. Uh. I'll read it over again, Bible Kashar. The book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Oh. Repent ye therefore. Repent. And it's like you. Repent, change your ways, amend your ways. That's right. Read on. And be converted. And be converted. And be renewed. And be renewed. Refreshed, okay? That's right. Repent ye therefore and be converted. But y'all don't want to repent, man. Y'all don't want to be converted, man. That's right. Bro. You want to keep smoking on damn backwards, smoking them zaza, and it's going straight to your mouth, though. But guess what? You're going to end up burning in that hot lava. That's right. right. Uh, okay? Bars. Bars. I ain't out here to be no damn rap artist, man. I'm not here to give them a solid truth. That's right. right. Whether you like it or not, I don't give a damn. That's Bring it up. Bring it up. Right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, renewing your mind. Okay? Right. Making you new, making you clean, That's right. washing you, washing your sins away is by coming back and keeping the laws, the statutes, and the commandments, okay? We are here for y'all. I'm gonna get a couple more, and then I'm gonna the next mighty dynamic speaker come up and continue to edify. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 51, and verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Right, 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 right. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. You see that? We are here to teach you transgressors your ways, man. To get y'all to oh, yeah. convert <laughs> and remove your mind and your spirit, man. We are here for that. Right. Okay? I'm going to get two more of them to step down. There you go. <laughs> the Kate? book of Lamentations, chapter 3 and verse 40. Right out. Let us search and try our ways. Let us search and try our ways, man. And what are our ways, man? Being niggas, being gangbangers, being whores, whoremongers, murderers, thieves, drug dealers. Uh, sorcerers, idolaters, that's our ways, man. And I'm out here to get y'all to try your ways. Right. All right? It's more, it's more than that? Uh. Oh, man. We're not, we're not dealing with that, man. And turn again to your hour. Turn again to your power, your hour. Right. Okay? This is my last one, and I'm going to step down. See what you got. This the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Bring it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So the synopsis, the theme of the whole Bible, we on. Fear God. Fear Jehovah. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For this is your sole purpose for being created. All right? And with that, I say shalom and death to America. Death to America. Death to America. Death to America.